So far, I haven't mentioned my photography. No. And, uh... Okay. I, I first started, uh... When I was in, in Orange High School, in my junior year of Orange High School, and it uh, turned out Bud had a, an interest in photography, too. Buster wasn't involved, but uh, I uh, began taking pictures in my junior year, and... Uh, I managed to uh, uh, put together enough, enough money, and I, I think it would have been something like twenty or thirty dollars to buy a, it was one of the first thirty-five millimeter cameras, low price ones. I mean, and I began to take pictures around high school. I, several of the pictures were in the, in the yearbook. And I, in looking back on occasion through my yearbook, I, so many of the the comments were saying a great photographer. You know, well, of course, then I wasn't then, but 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 my interest was growing and growing and growing. I think it would be. I guess it was a year after I got out of high school, 1940. I took a a course in um, in Brooklyn. I forget the, uh, the, the institution or school, but it was a photographer named J. Gislaine Lutens who uh, taught it. And he was, uh, at the time, he was noted for the, the pictorial type work, the kind of thing that was very popular with uh, photo galleries at that mm -hmm. time. And... Uh, and I, 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 I learned a lot uh, from him. I think we went one night a week, something like that. And at that time, I had, uh, in our kitchen in Burnside Street, we had 494 Burnside Street, uh, there was a pantry, and the lowest shelf was maybe this high. And underneath it... Uh, I cleared out space under there, and I created a dark room. Oh. <laughs> and I, uh, uh, for Christmas, some years before, I had been given a, a, a projector of sorts. It wasn't a movie projector, uh, more like a slide projector. Mm. And I converted that to an enlarger, a horizontal wow. enlarger. Wow. <laughs> and I'd crawl in there, work on my hands and knees. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Interesting. And I'd make the biggest, like a five by seven, well, it was the biggest I could manage. But one of them still it appears in my uh, website, uh, and the New York, New Jersey medley. It's a picture on the uh, uh, Hudson River Ferry going from uh, Battery in New York City to Hoboken. And it looks down on the front of the ferry and there's three or four men reading the evening newspaper. And, and um, I remember Mr. Luton, uh, I, I brought that print to, and showed it to him and he said, that uh, that would be accepted in any photo gallery in the United States. He said, that's a beautiful picture. My interest, by this time my interest, well, I've uh, been talking about still photography, but I've been interested in photography and certainly in movies. Well, everybody went to the movies back in, in the 30s. My mom had become friends with a man named Ben Brodsky. Yeah, I'm right who uh, had, uh, he ran a uh, man as uh, Liberty Theater in Irvington, New Jersey. I would go visit uh, there and Ben would, Mr. Brodsky would uh, let me sit in the projection booth oh. with, uh, uh, well, this high heaven, you know. For yeah. Me. <laughs> and I know I've told you this story about one time being in a, 
the projection booth and from time to time the film would break and and uh, the uh, projectors would stop and the uh, uh, lights would go on and all the kids would start screaming and yelling and, and the projectors, he'd have to re-splice the thing and get the thing going. Again. And on this occasion, he, he cut out a strip of 35 millimeters film. He gave it to me, you know. And, and, oh, that was... <laughs> yeah. Ben also, uh, well, he was uh, attracted to my mom. And uh, so he would take us out by us, and he'd not only take my mom out, but her th mom and my th uh, three little mm -hmm. kids. And, you know, that's a certain amount of dedication to, <laughs> to do that. <laughs> I remember one occasion, very vividly, uh, took us on an excursion boat from uh, Kingsburg, New Jersey, over to, to New York. Uh, to, no, to uh, long, what's that? What am I thinking of? The beach, the uh, famous uh, Coney Island, Coney Island. And uh, I remember on the boat <laughs> they had sandwiches. You can know, you buy sandwiches. And Carolyn was, I think she ate about five cheese sandwiches. She just kept coming back to Ben and. <laughs> I know, it was sometime in the early 60s that uh, I was talking to Joan about, well, I, in general I guess I was saying, you know, the house is built and, and I don't have that much to do anymore and there was plenty to do, but, and she suggested, well, why don't you get your camera out again and start take a course in photography and, and uh, that will uh, restore your interest in it. And, and I did that and really uh, enjoyed it very much. And then, you know, really began to get into taking pictures again. Uh, so uh, pretty much from then on, I, I still kept uh, using a still camera. I, uh, the camera I first used, I bought it, that is, if, in, in California, after the one that John said, get it out of the closet, and I bought that in New York City, and uh, it was called Nihagi Parvola, I remember, <laughs> and it, it wasn't a 35 millimeter camera, as a matter of fact, it wasn't a, uh, uh, it didn't take a film that was available in the United States at the time, but it took, uh, it had a Zeiss lens, which was the epitome of uh, fine uh, lens craft at that time. And you could put, I think it was one, Kodak 120 film in, and it would work. The edges would ravel, but, but, but it worked. And gradually, I, well, let's see, I had a Miranda for a while, and then I went to the Canon, and I've been using Canon pictures ever since. Although my uh, my physical capabilities, is, like everyone's, have deteriorated with age, but I'm lucky enough I can still get around somewhat. I, I used to walk from the Battery in New York up to Central Park and not even think twice mm -hmm. of it. Now a half a block is is about the extent of, yeah. <laughs> but I can still take pictures. Oh yeah, and, so it, it's still working. <laughs>